Ever wonder what happens when you combine surpassing naval might with state-of-the-art technology in the skies? We're going to explore the amazing collaboration between the USS Gerald Ford, the most powerful aircraft carrier in history, and the Boeing X-47 drone today. Their collaboration offers a look into the future of warfare rather than just showing their military prowess. Just in case you missed it, our channel is the best place to go if you're interested in learning more about cutting-edge military weapons and groundbreaking technologies. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest videos. Now, let's continue with the remarkable story of the X-47. The Joint Unmanned Combat Air Systems program produced the Boeing X-47, which represents a significant advancement in unmanned aerial technology. The strategic decision made by the U.S. Navy in 2000 to investigate the possibilities of unmanned combat air systems, or UCAS, marked the start of this journey. They gave Northrop Grumman and Boeing $2 million contracts each for a 15-month concept exploration program. The goal was to develop a naval unmanned combat vehicle, UCAV, that could operate in the harsh maritime conditions, control deck handling during takeoff and landing, and seamlessly interface with the carrier's command and control infrastructure. The main purpose of these unmanned combat aerial vehicles, or UCAVs, was reconnaissance. They were designed to be able to enter protected airspace and find targets for further attacks. The X-47A Pegasus, a groundbreaking unmanned aerial vehicle developed by Northrop Grumman, marked its first flight in 2003. This innovative aircraft served as a precursor to the more advanced X-47B. The X-47A was part of the Joint Unmanned Combat Air Systems Program, a collaborative effort aimed at creating new UAV technologies. However, the program faced challenges. Following the 2006 Quadrennial Defense Review, the JUCAS program was discontinued. This decision led the U.S. Air Force and Navy to pursue separate UAV initiatives. The Navy, focusing on their Unmanned Combat Air System Demonstrator program, selected Northrop Grumman's X-47B as their primary platform. This shift marked a significant change in the direction of UAV development within the U.S. military. The X-47B was built with a full-sized weapons bay that could hold current missiles and was intended to be the same weight and size of the anticipated operational ship. An outstanding group of subcontractors, including Lockheed Martin, Pratt & Whitney, and General Electric, was assembled for this enormous project. The prototype's December 2008 unveiling at Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California, signaled a major turning point in the advancement of naval unmanned aerial vehicles. A major turning point in naval aviation was reached on February 4, 2011 at Edwards Air Force Base in California, where the X-47B, named Air Vehicle 1, made its maiden flight. This was only the start of a massive and innovative flight test program that will advance unmanned aerial vehicle technology. The flight test program for the X-47B was carefully designed to cover an extensive range of capabilities. On September 30, 2011, following its first flight, the X-47B displayed its cruise configuration with its landing gear retracted. On November 22, 2011, AV-2, the second demonstration, made its first flight at Edwards Air Force Base. The two X-47Bs were initially supposed to undergo a three-year test program that included 50 tests at NAS Patuxent River, Maryland and Edwards Air Force Base. The program was supposed to end with sea trials in 2013. But despite their reliable performance, the initial tests were finished after just 16 flights. The X-47B's capabilities were then expanded by the Navy to include carrier launches and recoveries, as well as autonomous in-flight refueling. To ensure interoperability with future electronic warfare systems, AV-1 started high-intensity electromagnetic interference testing at Patuxent River in May 2012. By June 2012, AV-2 had started a battery of tests to certify precision approaches to an aircraft carrier, including catapult launches and arrested landings. On November 29, 2012, its maiden land-based catapult launch was accomplished successfully. On November 26, 2012, the X-47B commenced its carrier-based assessment aboard the USS Harry S. Truman CVN-75, at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia. 
This stage was essential to proving that the UAV could function in the intricate environment of an aircraft carrier. The X-47B's advanced capabilities were demonstrated during the testing, which included successful takeoffs from the carrier, touch-and-go landings, and arrested landings. On July 10, 2013, the USS George H.W. Bush CVN-77 hosted the first-ever arrested landing of a UAV on a carrier at sea, a major accomplishment made possible by the X-47B. Another successful arrested landing followed this accomplishment. However, a third attempt was cancelled owing to a technical problem. These tests demonstrated the X-47B's autonomous operation and reliability. The X-47B's ability to blend in with carrier operations was demonstrated in 2013 and 2014 when it was tested alongside human aircraft. During tests conducted on the USS Theodore Roosevelt CVN-71, the X-47B collaborated with an F-18 Hornet, which was the first instance of a UAV operating beside manned aircraft on a carrier. The world's first fully autonomous aerial refueling took place in April 2015, marking the culmination of the X-47B's flight testing and a major advancement in UAV technology. By completing all of the X-47B's key demonstration missions, the aircraft demonstrated its versatility and superior unmanned aerial system capabilities. This unmanned combat aerial vehicle has two weapon bays that can hold up to 4,500 kilograms of explosives, so it can carry out accurate strikes in addition to reconnaissance missions. Combining cutting-edge materials, electronic systems, and aerodynamics, its design and development marked a substantial advancement in military aviation technology. The X-47B's sleek appearance was facilitated by its jet-powered, tailless, blended wing body design. Its operational range and flexibility were increased by the aerial refueling and semi-autonomous operation capabilities. The UCAV measured 38 feet 2 inches in length, 62.1 feet in wingspan when extended, and 10 feet 5 inches in height when folded. The X-47B had a maximum takeoff weight of 44,501 pounds and an empty weight of about 28,837 pounds. Its Pratt & Whitney F100-220U turbofan allowed it to reach a high subsonic cruise speed of Mach 0.9 plus, with a range of 2,400 miles and a service ceiling of 42,000 feet. The X-47B was a very effective weapon in modern combat because of its large ordnance capacity and sophisticated avionics suite. The X-47B's development required a substantial financial outlay, which is indicative of the project's complexity and cutting-edge technology. Under a $635.8 million contract with the U.S. Navy awarded in 2007, the program's total cost was first anticipated to be $831 million by January 2012. This expenditure demonstrated how much importance is given to creating cutting-edge military technology. In June 2014, the Navy furthered its commitment to this state-of-the-art technology by contributing an extra $63 million for the X-47B's post-demonstration development. From concept to fully functional UCAV, the X-47B's revolutionary autonomous operation, stealth, and payload capacity were hallmarks of its development. Its creation and the expenses involved highlighted the strategic significance of unmanned systems in contemporary military operations, establishing new benchmarks for UCAV advancements in the future. The carrier launches, recoveries, and autonomous in-flight refueling capabilities of the X-47B changed the face of aerial warfare by demonstrating the capacity of unmanned systems to function in difficult and complicated circumstances. The integration of the X-47B drone into the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier signifies a revolutionary advancement in naval warfare technology. Developed under the Unmanned Combat Air System Carrier Demonstration Program, the X-47B stands as the pinnacle of unmanned aircraft technology. This drone, which has seen nearly $1 billion invested in its development, is not only fully operational, but also combat-ready underscoring its strategic importance and advanced capabilities. The X-47B's inclusion in the USS Gerald R. Ford's arsenal represents a significant leap in military technology, blending cutting-edge aerial robotics with traditional naval power. This integration showcases a new era in warfare, 
where unmanned systems play a crucial role in enhancing the capabilities and reach of naval forces. The X-47B's ability to operate autonomously and its compatibility with aircraft carriers marks a transformative moment in military strategy and naval operations, paving the way for more sophisticated and versatile combat solutions in the future. The USS Gerald R. Ford, the U.S. Navy's most sophisticated aircraft carrier, offers the ideal platform for the X-47B. With its cutting-edge arresting gear and electromagnetic aircraft launch mechanism, this cutting-edge carrier enhances the X-47B's technological capabilities. The carrier is a perfect match for the X-47B's cutting-edge systems and stealth design because of its large electrical power generation capacity and improved operational capabilities. The USS Harry S. Truman and the USS George H. W. Bush successfully tested the X-47B, demonstrating its compatibility with aircraft carrier operations and demonstrating its capacity to operate in this demanding environment safely and effectively. In an era where modern warfare is becoming more technologically advanced and remote, the U.S. Navy's capabilities have advanced with the coupling of the X-47B with the USS Gerald R. Ford. In the coming years, this combination of a state-of-the-art unmanned aircraft and a cutting-edge aircraft carrier is expected to completely transform naval operations and military tactics. So, what do you get when the X-47 drone teams up with the USS Gerald Ford? You get a duo that redefines aerial and naval warfare. How do you think the integration of advanced drones like the X-47 with supercarriers like the USS Gerald Ford will shape future military conflicts? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's engage in a thought-provoking discussion about the future of warfare and the role of technology in it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video if you found it informative.